Hi there, welcome to our today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can file for turnover returns. And if you need help, please do not hesitate. Reach out on the numbers that are on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to log in and I'm going to enter the personal number here. Uh, which is uh, just uh, like that and then M and then click on continue and then I'm going to put here the password um, which is uh, um, just uh, like um, that and then uh, once I'm through with that I'm going to put here the arithmetic which is 90 and click log in and we've been able to log in now the next thing oh, let me just check here the next thing I want to do is to come to returns and then click on file returns. Okay. And then um, it will load on uh, tax obligation. I'm going to choose income tax turnover tax, the first option, and then click next. Okay. Then uh, you can read through this and uh, I just want to see the period. Yes, this is the period we are filing for. It is filed for every month. Okay. So I'll come back here and download the Excel uh, form and just click here to download that and it's been downloaded. Now I need to locate it and then I want just to extract and then extract here. Okay, then I'm going to open this file, right, for TOT. Then you'll give it some time to open that file using Excel. It's been opened and it's opened in, uh, let me close this, protected view, enable editing. Okay, uh, security risk, Microsoft has blocked macros, uh, meaning macros is not going to run. Okay, sorry, uh, later. Okay, it's not going to work here. So we need to uh, make sure that it's going to work at the end of the day. So uh, just allow me to close this without saving, then right click on the document, go to properties. And then uh, under general, I'll move down here. You see where they have written uh, unlock. So I'm going to click on unlock and then I'll click on apply and then OK. Then I can now refresh here and open this very file. And uh, you want to update? No. And please do not cut or paste any values. OK. So now it's OK. We can continue filling in. Let me just close this. Okay, the personal identification number, I'm just going to put here Hakere pin, which is a, a 018 and just like that, 5M. Then type of return, I'm going to click here and choose between original and amended, which is original. The return period, remember the return period, which was 21st, uh, to 31st of March. So I'm going to put it here just like that. And then uh, put here 31st of March 2024. And then uh, are you a, a partnership? Uh, no, not a partnership. And then click uh, next. Here um, I'm not going to fill anything. I'll click next. Uh, section C, I'm not going to fill anything. Uh, turn over for the period. Okay, this is now the amount that the business has raised, which was 50,120. And it has calculated for us the net tax. So I'm going to validate this. It's ready. And then click yes. And then, uh, okay, they are found there in the documents. All right, so just click okay. Then uh, um, let me get back here. Let me find the file. Here it is. It's now ready uh, for upload. So the next thing I want to do, let me just go back to uh, ITAX and uh, choose file. Okay. Click on choose file, then locate the file that you've just saved, which is here. Just click on it, then click open. And uh, the next thing to do is to click I agree to the terms and conditions, then click submit. Do you want to upload? Yes, I want to upload that. And okay, now we download the receipt and here is the receipt. Now we will move now forward to payment. We need to pay the 700 and 
was it 51 shillings uh, we need to pay for that and uh, now here uh, some of the details are filled by default so we're going to scroll down the tax head i'll uh, choose uh, which one okay let me check i think income tax is okay and then i'm going to scroll down here i'm going to choose self-assessment which is fine 2024 march it's okay it's already uh, calculated here the amount that we need to pay so i'm going to scroll down here um they have rounded off to the nearest figure which is now 752 now uh, total amount to be paid of course uh, um, that will remain to be zero and uh, now the mode of payment the mode of payment is other payment modes so i'm going to click there and then click submit please select at least one obligation uh, okay let's get back to obligation Oh, I have to add this detail. You see this detail here? I have to add it uh, under the payment. So I'll click on add. Do you want to add then? Yes. Now it's okay. Uh, it's now updated. The amount to be paid has been updated. Then I need to click on submit. Okay. Um, sorry, there is an error. Sorry, I have to select the mode, which is other payments. Sorry for that. Click on submit. Do you want to submit? Yes, I want to submit. Now I've been able to submit and a receipt has been created. So I'll click here to download the receipt and then I'll open the receipt. And so here we've been given uh, the steps on how to pay, which we are going to use the pay bill 222222 and the account number. Then after paying, we are going to check our email to see if it's been successful. So once I've paid, I'll now move to... Uh, gmail and now want to find and here it is the payment has been accepted this is to inform you that the payment has been received on this day and this time and uh, credited to your account you can check your general uh, ledger for verification so the process has been successful and by that you've been able to file for the tot returns or turnover returns it's as simple as that it is not complex and I hope that this video has been of great value to you and if that is the case, you already know what to do. Boop that like button and above all, share this video to your friends and family so that they can also learn this skill. And I've said if you're interested in other cyber services and also graphics design uh, services, please make sure to reach out to us on the numbers that are on the screen so that we can be able to help you at affordable prices and by that you'll also be supporting our business at this moment i want you to hit that subscribe button if you found value in this video otherwise i want you to check on the screen and click anywhere to watch our next video and i'm pretty sure that i'm going to see you in that video peace